I turned $100 into $200,000 with meme coins in under three weeks. I'm not joking. Check my phantom wallet balance. You might think meme coins is all luck, but there's actually a strategy I have found that has helped me print money with meme coins while having absolutely no risk. And this is coming from someone who used to always get rug pulled. So make sure to follow all the steps I lay out for you because I'm going to show you the entire method talk setup on how to snipe meme coins with bullocks, how to find meme coin gems early, how to avoid rug pulls, best bullocks trading settings, and much more. And stick to the end, I'll even show a live example of me turning $100 into $5,000 with one trade. So for starters, you're going to need to buy Solana. Because if you want to trade, you're going to need Solana. And to get Solana, you're going to need to get it off an exchange like Coinbase, Binance or other ones. It's really easy to get if you need help, look up a tutorial. Once you have successfully bought your Solana, you're going to need to get the Phantom Wallet app install on your phone or you can get the extension on your Chrome browser. Then you're gonna send that Solana you bought on Coinbase or wherever directly to your Phantom Wallet. So now that you have your Solana ready, you're gonna wanna sign up to a trading platform. Now by far the best one you could use is called BullX. This is the only one I use and make all my profits with it. Luckily, if you use the link in my bio to sign up, you can skip the waitlist and sign up immediately because they have so many members Without using the link down below, you will have to wait weeks before they let you in. But if you use the link, it instantly allows you in. So SE it quickly. So now once you're signed up on BullX with the link down below, you need to get your Solana into the BullX trading platform. So send it over to your BullX wallet. To add funds, go to the wallet manager button on the left hand side list of options. Then you will be able to select the currency to add. In this case, you're gonna add Solana and they will give you a QR code or a wallet address to copy and paste. Okay, so now let's discuss some filters you're gonna to want to apply. For starters on the DEXs option, I always only leave pump.fun selected. I find it way better than Moonshot and the other options. So I strictly use pump.fun as I have way more success with it personally. Also for new creations, always select at least one social option. The reason for this is that if there is no social associated with the coin, it means the dev might be lazy and it has a higher chance of it being a rug pull coin. If it has a social, it could be a better project that has less chance of being a rug. But also this doesn't mean it's safe still because they could just throw someone else's link onto it. So still be cautious. Also for the dev holding, the max should be 11%. If it's higher, that means the dev put in more than three Solana, which is a big red flag. So keep that at 11% max. Insider wallet supply should be 10% max. This will help us avoid rugs as well. Okay, let's take a look at the about to graduate section now. So select at least one social again. Make sure dev holding max is 11%. Insider wallet supply is max 10%. Volume minimum is $20,000. And token age is maximum 30 minutes. The reason I choose 30 minutes is because if a coin takes longer than 30 minutes to bond, to radium, it's a red flag. Ideally, the best plays bond in about two to three minutes max. So this filters for the best of the best coins. Okay, so now let's move on to the graduated section. So for dev holding, make it 11% max. Insider wallet supply, 10% max. Volume, $90,000 minimum. Market cap, $75,000 minimum. And token age, maximum 120 minutes or two hours. So now let's take a look at the buy and sell settings. So if you're trading one or less Solana per trade, just use these buy and sell settings. If you're going to be trading one to six Solana per trade, then you're going to want to change the buy priority fee to 0 0.01 instead of 0 0.001. And same goes for the sell priority fee, change it to 0 0.01. If you want to trade more than six Solana per trade and dealing with really big mem coins that have like 1 million plus market cap, you can change the priority fee to 0 0.03 on both buy and sell. Also 20% max slippage limit and enable buy mev protection. Also make the buy bribe 0 0.01. But overall the best settings are the ones I showed before because that's safest for average traders and new traders. So now we have covered all the best settings and filters. So the next big thing you should check out is a Twitter crypto tracker 
which I get over from this subscription I pay from Potion Alpha Discord group. This basically keeps track of all the major crypto influencers every time they tweet, and even bigger people who can manipulate coins and markets like Elon Musk, Donald Trump, etc. This is a great tool, and I highly recommend you guys try this out as it really helps you find trends and get early insider calls and trading news before everyone else does. Also, make sure to check for bundles because it's a red flag that a coin is a rug pull potentially. Because if it's bundled, it means one person owns lots of supply across multiple wallets. They might have 10 to 15 wallets with each one holding 2% of the supply and they actually own 30 to 50% of the supply and no one even knows. So be careful because you will get scammed. Also, I highly suggest you join a paid group. I am in Potion Alpha and it's the best group. Here is some footage, it really helps you know what to buy, best trends in meme coins, and you trade as a team instead of being a solo trader. So join the group with link in pinned comment. But overall, these are the best bullet settings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this is how you can start cooking today.